Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create matrix report from scratch in a report builder. So let me show you the query I'm going to use for my matrix report. So here is my select query that selects in all the fields from a total sale table. And this table is existing in a sales database. So let's run this query. And now we get all the results. Here I'm only interested to display the data for region, country, and product name and finally have uh, some on item sold so these are the four column I need uh, in my report uh, I do not need all these first name and last name uh, columns uh, so I'm gonna remove these columns and also I do not need uh, these columns uh, so I will be left with four columns that I need uh, let's copy those columns uh, before we copy and take them to the report builder I suggest running this query one more time so you can see it is working if there is any mistake in a query writing. Now let's go to the report builder. Once you open the report builder, this is how you will see it. You will see the getting start window. You can close that getting start window and then empty report will be there. So you can start working. If it's not there, you are working on something else. You can always go to file new and then start from here blank report. So that's the same thing. Next part, uh, we will be clicking on the data sources uh, and uh, add data source. Uh, and here we have option uh, to connect to the existing uh, data source that's deployed to the report server or we can uh, create a new connection uh, embedded in our own report. Uh, so I'm going to use uh, the data source from the report server. So I'm going to call this one DS sales. And uh, as of now, you can see that uh, this sales the data source is already there and it is telling us, okay, this is on report server underscore SQL 2016 uh, on folder uh, data sources. Uh, I can browse and take a look. Uh, so if I go to the data sources, I can see the sales data, uh, data sources are uh, there. So I don't need to add that again because it's already there. So I can use that. And uh, this is how you will browse uh, to different folders uh, on report server and select the required data source. Uh, hit OK now. And next part, uh, right click on the data sets, uh, add data set. Uh, provide the name to the data set let's call this one a D set sales and here we have two options use a share data set if we have deployed a share data set to the report server we can select that we can browse to that folder and select the data set from there in my case I do not have any shared data set that I have deployed to the report server so I'm going to use this query or result set or data set embedded in this report so select the data source here paste your query now once you are here you are uh, writing your own query that's uh, that's fine I like uh, write, uh, to write my own queries but uh, there is a query designer you can use as well once you hit query designer it will open this window and it will take you to take you to edit as text window now you see your query right here and then you can have run once you run it you see the results but if you click back on uh, this button called edit as text uh, it will say okay I would like to discard uh, the query you have written uh, right here okay fine and uh, then it will take us uh, to the other window here we have selection we can select select the table store procedure views uh, and build our query as well so let's say if I will go on uh, tables uh, and I have a table called total sale I can select the same columns uh, what I need uh, items and the uh, product names now if I will go back to the edit as text uh, it is uh, creating uh, its own uh, SQL query it's no different from ours uh, but uh, it uh, added the table na name uh, to each of the column uh, so we can write th that way as well so once you put the query here you do not need to go back uh, and edit as a text uh, as long as you want to select uh, your columns or fields uh, by using that uh, query designer so it is working fine for us we just took our query pasted here and then uh, hit OK hit OK our data source and data uh, set is ready next part is that we are going to provide the, the title for report uh, let's call this one uh, uh, matrix report and now we have two options we can right click here go to insert and bring the matrix item or we can go to the insert and then we have a matrix right here here you will select uh, uh, and the once you will uh, select this matrix uh, you have two options uh, you have a matrix wizard that you can use to create your report or you can insert matrix uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert matrix and uh, um, we will understand the row groups and column groups uh, from here 
if you would like to start uh, with the matrix wizard you can do that as well it's going to ask you the same questions now we have rows and columns and data so we need to understand what, what exactly we want to do in this report i would like to have a uh, region here first uh, and then subgroup uh, i would like to have country and on columns i would like to have a product name and uh, finally we have item sold uh, that's some of the items sold we would like to have it here so i'm going to get uh, the region here once I have the region here, that's fine. I can also get the column or fields from the data set and place it right here under this row group. If you see the row group right here. And we can use the same thing for the column groups. So for country, I'm not going to drag it here and put it here. Instead, I will bring it right here in the down. Now, for the product name, I'm going to drag it in the columns. And for the data, we are going to get into the data. We can go ahead and color this one a little bit. So at least it will look better once you uh, pre hit uh, any cell then you uh, can press the shift and then press the next cell so it will select multiple cells now i would like to have bold and i would like to have background color here so i'm gonna give uh, maybe kind of gold and for uh, product name i would like to give uh, the green and uh, i would like to have bold and italic also let's make this one small and this one as well so give some decrease the space we are all good here we can go ahead and run our report now matrix report is created you can see the region here and country here and we have products on the columns so this looks great one thing we can do a lot of things with these reports now uh, if you have watched my old videos uh, uh, creating report with the SSDT SQL Server data tools, uh, we have created drill down and all different types of report. Uh, we play different properties uh, of uh, uh, matrix and uh, table. Here, let's say if we would like to hide a country and then uh, by clicking on a region uh, we would like to see, we can do that as well. So let me go back and then uh, we are going to go to the country row group here, right click uh, and say group properties. Uh, now once we are in the properties we can go to the visibility and uh, in the visibility we would like to toggle by report item so we would like to show or hide um, we have different options when the report is initially run what we would like to do we would like to hide let's say and uh, then we would like to toggle and uh, toggle by what by region so till uh, nobody click on the region uh, will not see the countries so hit ok so that's going to make this one uh, kind of drill down and now you see that uh, the country is not available and we have a region uh, and we have plus sign here so once you click here then uh, it is going to display those uh, country names uh, so that's how you will create a drill down uh, report uh, and uh, have or have drill down capability in the matrix uh. there, there are other things that uh, we can do as uh, well uh. so all those properties uh, whichever you think of uh, were available in ssdt sql server data tools uh, you can also have them uh, here so I'm thinking uh, what uh, other uh, um, things I would like to have here, but uh, right now it's uh, kind of um, <laughs> really like, okay, let's say we would like to make this report a parameterize. So in, uh, instead of uh, here, we have a data set, we can double click here and then write the parameter in our query and it will uh, create the parameter. So we, let's say we will, where we will say where region is equal to at the rate region. So simple is that. So if we will hit OK. I mean, it's not making a whole lot of sense just to have one region, but I'm just trying to tell like, OK, whatever we have done in SSDT, the same thing we can do here. So let's say in region, we say uh, Asia. Now we will see only the countries are related to that region. We have Asia region here, and then we would have countries. Let me click that there. So we have India and Pakistan. So all those small things or whatever the design work we have done in the SSDT SQL Server data tools, the same things you can do in here. So thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.